what happens when you die. <laughs> and one, the whole, the reason why I'm saying this, so it helps you or can help you. <laughs> you don't necessarily need to know this. You've already been through this. So, what happens when you die, you review your life. Now, there's something you need to understand. I'm not going to use negative. There's two things you need to understand real quick. I'm not going to use negative because it's not negative. It's more so sad and empathy. People lack this during their life. <clears throat> Some people are not even aware of this or don't have any. And also that it's you reviewing it. So when you go, when you die, you go into, we'll say, a more conscious stream. The conscious stream is made of high vibration. <clears throat> so it doesn't allow for these other low vibration, sad type of feelings. So you'll die, then you'll go review your life. You, no, no one's going to judge you. You become God, basically. You sit in a God seat and you review your life. You are the God. <clears throat> and you review your life. Now, <clears throat> this is where... Because since you're in this God stream when you're, when you're dead, we can call it the astral world. Because it feels good to be there. It's a sensation. What is above this is union with God. So you are not no more. You, you lose yourself. You literally lose yourself. You emerge with God. But we're not going there yet because most people are nowhere near there. <laughs> So let's just say you're living a life, you kill somebody, and you still lived a very good life, pretty much. You you were happy, and whatever, the killing somebody, murdering them, and hiding them, even though it really wasn't a good reason to kill somebody, you still did it. You still did it. When you go to that life review, you review everything in your life. You, when you review, it's about how you feel about it. And let's say you feel empathy. It's going to, since you're up in the sky with God, in God's stream, you are in this state of abundance and love, but it's a feeling almost like ecstasy. But you're doing your life review and you have empathy. So this is how all karma uh, cause and effect and coming back to life, samsaras, the whole point of life and existence is just this. It's you're literally your reaction to something. <clears throat> so if that, that man felt empathy he's gonna go and fix it some way he's gonna get born again he's gonna get born to another life to or he's gonna do something to work out this fix this kink in his uh how he feels about it because that's all it comes down to everything in your life doesn't matter what you do 
it comes down to your intention and how you feel about it. If you're unaware about your intention and how you feel about it, then it's it can be a chance to be negative or sad. So it's not necessarily negative that he killed that person. It could be viewed as that. It's more so sad and he has empathy. So he's going to get dropped. He's not going to stay on a high vibration because he feels the sad and empathy. So he's going to drop from heaven, basically. <laughs> we, can, we can say in layman terms, <laughs> which is kind of funny. <clears throat> and people are going to ask how I know this. <laughs> well, I've heard a million people say it. <laughs> that, had, that died and came back to life. Your whole point of existence is just the fact that the way you react to something and people hold on to their reaction. Unlike an animal, they usually, it's, ah, uh, they act real aggressive, then they're gone. People act aggressive and then it stays on and the rest of their life on and playing on in their body and on in their mind. And it never ends. So you see how that's holding them back? That's not God. That's an ego it's holding them back, actually, from God, basically. Chains. <clears throat> so your life review, the, the way to conquer this and to emerge with God, the final stage, it's very simple. It's just to be aware and to observe. On your life review... There won't be nothing for you to really review if you're a master. Um, because you'll be already there before you die. But more so, you'll be conscious. You'll be observing and you'll be aware. So, you'll already be pouring out of this cup of with love. So your life review, you'll just be observing it, even if you do get one. And you won't have a reaction to it because you're in control. It's not about, I don't like using control because it acts like, oh, I'm mad and I'm going to control my anger. It's not like that. It's I don't feel the anger. It never arose in me. Or you could say, I perceived Somebody acting a way that I didn't like. But once you're feeling, see, once you're feeling good and in a conscious state, you don't deal with negative things in your body. There may be things external that are sad and upsetting and you can attend to them. But again, ultimately, it comes down to how your reaction to the things. It's very simple. Most people are like, They, um, it's kind of like they're automated or they're programmed for set reactions in the life. You know what I mean? It's about taking the reins of the horse, being in control, so to speak, of your life. <laughs> it's not about resisting or suppressing emotions. I'm not about that. <laughs> but when you feel good, then... Stuff that's bad, negative, or whatever, it's not doesn't affect you. It just like ricochets back onto whatever is exuberating that, such as that person, <laughs> maybe the environment. <laughs> I 